Right, we're moving on to the big wigs now. So let's open the charcoal one up. Okay, so the boxes are a different shape. Um, no, that's wrong. They're a different size. So uh, it's rectangle, <laughs> obviously like the big owls, but these boxes are um, slightly shorter. But in terms of the um, packaging, it's very much the same, other than I can see there's some sort of um, head tube protection here. Um, not head tube, sorry, seat tube protection here. But yeah, it seems to be the same level of packaging as the, uh, um, as the aluminium bikes. So in terms of the, uh, the little cardboard box that comes with these things, um, again, you have the, um, the Ragley um, chain stay protector. It's, they're quite nice, actually, to be fair. Um, you also have your bag of uh, you know, plastic um, or rubber grommets, um, some sort of um, sort of like cable bits, cable holding bits, a, uh, a tube of touch-up paint, and some uh, uh, clear stickers for uh, frame protection. And there's no uh, rubber pipe in this one, but then there's no internal uh, routing on the down tube on these, so you, you wouldn't need it. So it's uh, very much uh, packaged in the same way as the um, the Marley and the Big Owls in the uh, previous uh, video videos. So you know you get a bit of um, bubble wrap and foam around the head tube, cardboard tubes to protect the paint on um, the, you know, the uh, these tubes here <laughs> of the down tube and the, you know the crossbar. And in terms of the seat stay and the chain stays, um, you still got, you've got cardboard. The uh, rear dropouts are protected using bubble wrap. You have a axle which is protected by cardboard, and a big foam square which protects the bottom bracket. And um, the one thing I've really noticed on this is I actually quite like this colour. Um, I didn't think I would. I thought it might, I might go more for the purple, and, and we'll see that in a moment. But um, this is actually a really, really nice colour. Um, I'm not going to open up the head tubes because actually. These feel a bit more padded than um, the previous ones, but I'm just going to get a torch out and uh, we'll reflect it off the frame. And then um, I'll put this one back. Now, what I haven't done here is clear off the cardboard residue. So you have to bear with me, but as you see, it's a, it's a metallic, very dark gray. Uh, the Ragley badge is also a metallic, so obviously it's the lacquer they've used. It's not a flip colour, it's solid. Um, yeah, it's actually quite nice. We will get one of these out of full packaging uh, on this video. I just don't know which colour I want yet. So uh, yeah, on, on to the purple. Okay, so this is the purple emerald uh, frame. And um, again, the box, the packaging is exactly the same. Um, this has been a recurring theme on all these raglis. The the package, the level of packaging is quite disappointing, but the frames, um, the condition has been quite excellent, uh, especially for the money, um, and there's been no damage thus far. But you know, let's get this one out and uh, let's see how this one looks. So, probably as bad as this one's going to sound. Um, I think I'm going to go with the purple emerald. To be honest, it's uh, okay. It's the signature colour for a start, but. It's, it's actually looking quite nice. Um, let's go. It's, it's a flip colour, so you know, a mate of mine's gonna start taking the piss out of me because uh, the way I ranted about flip colours the other day. But uh, I quite like this. It's very subtle. Um, it goes from like a say a, quite a, a dark, deep emerald green to. I mean, I'm not great with describing colours, but uh, a purple. Um, but it's quite a wishy-washy purple. It's not like a really strong purple like uh, the Big Al is. It's actually really nice. Let, let's let's get this one out of the packaging because uh, yeah, even though the gray, the, the gray one is really really nice, um, I think this is the one we're we're going to keep. So um, first of all, yeah, head tube is round and. Uh, 
These aren't tapered, um, these are straight stereo uh, 44 mil. Um, the beautiful badge. Now, some might say I've gone a bit OTT uh, this year. I bought effectively four frames <laughs> just in case I couldn't get what I wanted. Um, now, last year I wanted the uh, I wanted the blue um, Ragley, the, the 2020 in blue, and I just couldn't get one. I just couldn't get one. Um, I quite like the blue. I didn't really like the 2019 one. Uh, I think the it was just more the stickers than anything else. Um, I think I'm going to have to say the same if I'm going to be hypercritical this year. Um, it, it, the, the light is weak in here today. Uh, actually, it's a, probably uh, not really coming up in the, uh, in the video very well in terms of the colour, but it's really popping the, the sunlight. But the stickers themselves are extremely muted, and I think maybe a different colour sticker would have probably been better, but uh, I'm being hypercritical. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm not sponsored by Ragley, so why would I, you know, when I'm out riding, want to be promoting their product? I don't know. Um, but I'm going to take the uh, the crap off the back now, and uh, you know, we'll um, we'll look at the back. All right, so we've taken off the oh, probably covering the mic there. We're taking off the rest of the packaging now, and um, I mean, I, I really like this colour actually. Now, a friend of mine is going to be taking the piss because I said. The flip colours he was looking at were chaffy. Um, this one's quite nice and subtle, so I'm not going to say that about this one. Um, but if I maybe shine some light on it, so once that's screen yeah, in direct light, or uh, if you look at it straight on, uh, fading over to purple um, where uh, you're not looking straight on. And it's metallic as well. Now, it's a, I say it's a really rubbish day for light, but um, hopefully you get an appreciation from the video of the colour. Obviously you get the nice raggedy badge. Um, so let's put a bottle. Uh, now, the same as the Mali, to be honest, but in terms of the seat tube, the protection ends just as the clamp get, goes on, but it's much closer to the clamp, so probably slightly better job to be honest but you'd probably expect so as these frames are twice the money of the um, aluminium ones obviously um, axle got the fluff there now this axle was covered in grease weirdly the Mali one wasn't um, don't know why um, I mean you're gonna lube up your axles however you choose to anyway uh, this is the uh, bottom bracket now it might need facing to be fair Depends on um, probably the type of bottom bracket you use. Some are a bit more forgiving than others. But they haven't got a nice machine face there. Um, yeah. If you're used to aluminium, and, and I'm used to aluminium, um, this is the first steel frame I've had since the 90s. Um, but it's actually, you look in here, it's quite dull. Uh, whereby if you normally look in the um, bottom bracket shell of uh, an aluminium frame. They're quite shiny. Um, I also noticed there's a yeah, drainage port here. Uh, obviously the last thing you want is water ingress in a, uh, in a steel frame. So I think they've, they've built it with the idea of it's just gonna drain out. But to be honest, the, hole, the other holes aren't that big. Um, as I said, the down tube doesn't have uh, internal routing, um, so there's some uh, bits in the box which allow you to, when you drop a post down, the down tube, um, and then up through this grommet here, um, up, which is, if anything, this is a bit easier. Um, and the whole reason for that is it's still, you don't want moisture getting in there, getting trapped in there, so best thing to do is just, just close it off. Um, these use uh, these use external cups from the looks of it. I hope I've got the right headset. <laughs> they were, um, yeah, because I've, I've got a, a ZS one for the top. I'm gonna check that. We'll make sure that, that it's, I'm putting the right headset in for the top 
when <laughs> before I put it in. The bottom one I've got an EC cup. So yeah, that's fine. We'll just bash that in. It'll be fine. Well, when I say bash it in, I mean use a proper tool. Honest. Um, yeah, really, really nice. Um, so counterintuitively, I'm putting this away now. Uh, because the next uh, set of stuff I've got is uh, to do is uh, actually have my uh, full sus bikes. But, you know, we'll be doing a, a bunch of build videos on um, this frame. Mainly uh, replacing this frame into that bike. So, uh, yeah, thank you.